Hello, my fellow Gooners, and welcome to Arsenal TV. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and make sure you're hitting that notification bell as well. Guys, welcome to my preview of the Napoli versus Arsenal game, Europa League tomorrow night over in Italy. I want to take you back to the Watford game that was the other night on Monday. And... Um, it was a poor performance from us. We had nothing. We didn't show no fight or anything during that Watford game. I think for us, Freudini getting that red card, I think that was a massive turning point for us. And we got the goal by Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. But it still doesn't state the fact that we played poor. Now, in terms of this Europa League game for the second leg, I don't want Arsenal to put in the same performance like we've done against Watford. I don't want that. Otherwise, if we do, then we are going to get battered big time. And that 2-0 lead could go within an instant. So it is literally Arsenal that needs to come out and play a decent, decent performance and show some fight. Now, let's go back to the first leg of this Europa League game. First leg for, for Arsenal, it was comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Now, during that first leg, Arsenal should have had at least four to five goals. And that's no disrespect to Napoli. We didn't take our chances. Lacazette had chances. Ramsey had chances. And we did not take them. That was our problem. We dominated that game from start to finish, the first goal, but which came very, very early in the game from Aaron Ramsey. We had the, the goal from Lucas Torreira that took the deflection off of Koulibaly. Um, so that was the second goal. Only problem with that game was Napoli were too careless. They were careless during that game and they didn't take their chances. Denise Mertens wasn't on his game at all. Insignia was definitely not on his game. He kept getting caught offside every now and then during that game. I'm expecting Arsenal to put in a good performance and just get the job done and go and qualify for that semi-final spot. Let's see what happens and hopefully we can get the job done. I know that the atmosphere over in Naples is going to be very, very different compared to the Emirates. The fans are really going to be up for it. The atmosphere is even more intense. I don't think that Napoli are going to keep up with us with our quick 1-2 football because the Italian league is very, very slow. But let's see what happens. Let's just get the job done. That's all I'm asking. Let's just get the job done. I'm now going to get into my predicted lineup, and um, this is what I'm going with. I think Emery needs to go with a strong enough lineup and actually get the job done. And uh, I'm actually going with a back three defenders. So in goal, it's going to be Burnt Lino. Pretty plain and simple choice. I think he is the stronger goalkeeper. Considering I've got a feeling that Emery's going to go for Petacek anyway, but I would like to see Lino. This is my choice. So I would go with Burnt Lino. He proved against Watford that he made some really good crucial saves in that game. And I think he's improving He's improving week in, week out. So uh, I'm going to go with Bert Lino. We're going to move into the defence, the back three. And uh, first off, I'm going to go with Lauren Koscielny. I think Lauren Koscielny had a good game against Watford as well in certain times. Apart from that, I think him and Socrates has been our best partnership, I think, in that back line. But I'm hoping that he puts in a good performance. So I'm going to go with Lauren Koscielny. Playing alongside him is going to be Socrates. Yes, Socrates was suspended during that Watford game. So I'm hoping that Socrates can uh, also put in a good performance in this game. Um, he should be fresh. He should be ready for it. So I'm going to go with Socrates. Playing alongside them in that back three is going to be Nacho Monreal. Didn't have a great game, to be honest, against Watford. Um, but... Let's hope that he can put in a good, decent performance in this time around. So I'm going to go with Nacho Monreal. I'm going to move into the wing backs. First off, on the right wing back, I'm going to go with Ainsley Maitland-Niles. I thought he played well during that Watford game when he came on. He made a massive, massive crucial block when Watford was in that goal um, to cover Lino as well when Lino came off of his goal line. Yeah, that is what I'm going to go with, Ainsley Maitland-Niles. In that left wing back, I'm going to go with C. Kolesinek. Now, I think he is better going forward. Um, he didn't play 
against Watford. So I'm hoping that he'll play and get um, a decent run out as well and put in a good performance like he did in the first leg. So I'm going to go with Seed Kolesianek. I'm going to move into the midfield area, the two that are going to sit in the middle. First off, I'm going to go with Lucas Torreira. He did not have a good game against Watford as for what I saw. People may disagree, but I don't think he had a good game at all. Um, I think after when Troy Deeney got that red card, I think the Watford crowd was was literally on his case um, the majority of the time. And I think that's why Emery took him off and um, maybe to give him a little bit of protection. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Lucas Torreira. Playing alongside him is going to be Granit Xhaka. I don't think even Granit Xhaka had much of a good game, to be honest, against Watford. Yes, he switched into play a couple of times, but I'm going to see the performance... Like he done against Napoli in that first leg. So I'm going to go with Grant Xhaka. Playing in that number 10 role. I'm going to go with Mesut Ozil. He came on in the last 15-20 minutes for Watford. I think he played well when he did come on. He dictated the pace a little bit. But the thing what bothered me with Mesut Ozil. He kept pulling out of 50-50 challenges. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you pull out of them? So um, I'm hoping that he puts in a good performance. So I'm going to go with Mesut Ozil. Playing as the two strikers up front. First off, out on the right-hand side, I'm going to go with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Um, he got that crucial goal for us during the, um, the Watford game. Um, but that is about it, really. Um, he wasn't getting that much service during that game against Watford because I think, you know, Torreira and Xhaka obviously didn't have that much of a great game. Um, but overall, I think Aubameyang did play well. His work rate wasn't too bad. So uh, I'm going to go with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Playing alongside him is going to be Alexandre Lacazette. He didn't play against Watford, um, so that was a good thing. So he should be fresh and ready for the Napoli game. Um, he had a few chances in that first leg against Napoli, and uh, he didn't really take the chances that he should have done. But as a clinical striker, this game, you need to take those chances and get us through. So, guys, that has been the preview. That has been my predicted lineup. You know what to do. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree or if you disagree. And let me know of your predicted score. My predicted score for this game is go Arsenal 3-1 for this game. Uh, guys, as I said, if you are new to the channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. And make sure you're hitting that notification bell as well. And thank you to the 733 subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube channel. And um, let's push on and get to that thousand. Um, so guys, until the players' ratings after the game, I will see you soon. I'm out of here.